Hello there guys, welcome back. It's the Flying Bird. He says, good luck, have fun. Where are my free graphics? Uh, I wonder where my free graphics are. Give me my free graphics. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Hold on. That's for someone else. Dang it. Mega Ops. That's alright though. Um... I don't know if he doesn't he doesn't bring any hazard removal. I don't understand why you want to bring hazard removal against me. I'm gonna leave Forotrust here, because there's no like Ampipon wants if Ampipon leads, I can just go ball it and return kill it. Uh Ditto is a bit of a pain, but it's not really because of the fact that I can baton pass sometimes against it. So let's gonna see, we're gonna lead Forestress here. I'm really upset you bring Gotharita, because that was one thing I massively pre prepared for. And yes, it was gonna be like, that's the whole role of Gotharita is to make your opponent think in two minds. But so. What do people want about health consciousness? I'm keen to see what Matt does. Um, To be honest, Manaphy isn't that much of a threat. I prepared well for Manaphy. Pasha Berry, uh, Diggersby's gonna be a threat. Um, I'm predicting the lead Ampipom with uh, Last Resort. It does a lot to my team. If he leads Arcanine, I just go out into uh, either Diggersby or Garchomp, but I'm actually gonna probably go into my Sylveon predicting a um, Willow. Because you probably then go for Fair Flare Blitz and that can switch out into uh, Garchomp safely. Okay, so he's going into. Okay, I'm gonna go for a T spike to lead with, cause like. I'm gonna go for Garibal here, cause I don't see a reason not to. Oh. He's gonna go out. Let's go in an Among Us. Let's just go for Clear Smog. Mega Horn, far. And there goes one man if he switch in. Let's go for Garibald. That's a, I would say like that's a that's a careless sack. I'm gonna just go in and do um, garage up here just so I click sub. Mm. I can use um. Hyper voice, the way you just switched it in. Oh, he's caught on guard. Toxic. That's interesting. Because the fact that um, his Ditto is toxic.
If he doesn't go into... I'm going into Fortress here. I can reset on my T-Spike. Because it just keeps putting a offensive pressure on his Mons. And the fact that he bring, didn't bring Hazard removal shows me a lot about his team. And I think switching off Sylveon here for my uh, Fortress, which should have been leftovers, that was definitely a misplay on my part. Um, definitely feared got thrown too much, as I said. And the same thing, the worst thing about this game is it's it's a uh, conference. So if I lose this, I lose my first one. Oh. I'm going for Garibald here. So we're gonna go. Then can just go into Diggersby and click AQ. Because Diggersby here just puts on a lot of offensive pressure. Or do I want to just go into Diggersby again and just click sub? I feel like I do because I don't. I just want to go for sub here, because I don't see a reason not to. I feel... Because if he... Because this really puts him in two minds here, because if he goes like a Flare Blitz... Yes, it's good, but at the same time, I can just sub up again. I think I could just go for an, a Swords Dance here, because if he goes for another Flare Blitz, he breaks it, but then I can just go for another sub. Yeah. I think I can now sweep him with Earthquake. I wish I, I wish I had an outrage here, but at the same time, I don't. I played really well around his um, Ditto. That T-Spike really early on from Foro Choice, aka Rob. Rob is one of the most important mo members on my team. I'm going to just go for Earthquake here. Marina. I think I'm going to just go for Earthquake here. And then I can just Revenge and clean up with them. Boy, A12 DJ Flips coming through. He said he was coming back. He said he's taking Kalos by storm. I'm here in the Machiavelli. I'm here in the ether. I'm here because I'm the best. No, because I refer. That's fine, because now Diggersby can just clean up. Do I want to go Diggersby or do I want to go Fortress? Mm. Damage cap. Manaphy. Oh my god. I got the low roll, I think. 86, no. Let's say, let's just make it worst case scenario. Let's say 86% was a high roll. Okay, let's, okay, let's uh, go Diggersby. Oh, you physical attacker. No life orb. Quick attack still has a possible 60. Okay. I mean, we do have Pasho Berry, which I think is really important here. If that was a low roll, DJ flips. 
you're, you're getting benched, bro. <laughs> Look, Earthquake was my best play. Dragon Claw did the exact same. It did less. Okay, so Quick Attack does clean up. I'm just going to go for Earthquake here, because I don't see a reason not... Oh, Do I risk it, though? Do I risk it? Let's say it's OU Offensive on a Diggersby. Yeah, but let's look at our investment though. 100. Is it Orb? Has it shown Life Orb? No, it doesn't have an... Let's say it's Caper. I think we can just go for Earthquake here. Yep. GG. Great game, Silver. Thanks you for all the hard work you put into this league. Um, definitely a shame that we both didn't get a chance to playtest, but at the end of the day, I played quite well, I thought, and you played well yourself. Um, just a few things that I noticed. Um, losing Among Us early, I thought was going to be a massive hindrance, but at the end of the day, it actually helped me a bit more, because it made, meant that it meant to play a bit more offensively and aggressively. And that's what really helped me. So, well, let's review the match slowly, turn by turn. So, Scott, you know, Fortress here, I was like, yeah, he's probably gonna have Earthquake. Mega Horn, great play on his part. I was really worried, but then I saw that he go for another Mega Horn here, and I was like, bit, hmm, maybe it was Poison Jab Baton Pass? But, like, even then, you should just Baton Pass down into, um, like, Arcanine. I don't know why he didn't. And then going for Stealth Rocks, I was like, I'd rather, I would have set up the T-Spike, because the T-Spike would have hurt me more than it would have hurt you. And then, like, here, I could just go for Guard Chomp into the sub. And people are going to be like, oh my gosh, all you do is review your own games. So you must love the sound of your own voice, because as viewers, we don't. But I do. Yeah, Sylveon here does, does nice work here. Just getting in making sure that, you know, Sylveon, he doesn't, you know, Techno doesn't whine like a little girl for nothing. He's important. You know, like this T-Spike just meant so much. Like, you know, Ditto goes down. And like, I can just go for Wish, and then it's just like, yep, yeah, okay. Look, not having leftovers on uh, Fortress really did suck, suck, but at the same time, it gives me some great, like, offensive momentum, and, like, every time, like, he goes into sort of sort sense, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going for T-Spike, like, there's no reason not to, and he, like, he try chooses to save it, I'm just like, oh, no, Garable, and I'm like, it chooses to, you know, to go to, you know, uh, Arcanine, <laughs> I traded you Arcanine, and you said you, I'll regret this, and I didn't, because Garchomp came through, digger speed though, um, I'm really interested to know the amount of his spread because I really want to see if that mattered. I don't think it. I think it mattered that getting that low roll because that was a high roll. You're going insane. But at the same time, Godchamp he really did nice work playing really offensively. I'm coming into my own style here, and that's what I'm really enjoying, guys. Is that it's not the fact that I'm playing anymore. And then you know, like Willowis, yep, yeah, best play. No, that's fine. You can go right into your MP palm. If I had Outrage, it would have been a game game over, but you always just run, uh, especially when someone has an Octaria, just run Dragon Claw to be safer. Marina comes in, and you know, like, Earthquake, yeah, it doesn't do enough, but... Oh, well, you know, if I had if I had Rocks up, that might have done, you know, been a higher favor, but look, when you can have someone like Diggersby just clean up after yourself, like, it's like, clean up your MS, Roger's got a nice kill there. So, GG. Um, let's go Team Builder. Team Builder here. Yeah. Something I'm really trying to work on is really trying to give you more in-depth team builders. So I'm actually going to do a, the team builder in a separate video. So until next time, keep it.